El presidente de los Estados Unidos, Barack Obama, se despidió de la nación con un emotivo discurso. My fellow Americans, Michelle and I have been so touched by all the well wishes that we've received over the past few weeks. But tonight, tonight it's my turn to say thanks. Whether we have seen eye to eye or rarely agreed at all, my conversations with you, the American people, in living rooms and in schools, at farms, on factory floors, at diners, and on distant military outposts, those conversations are what have kept me honest and kept me inspired and kept me going. And every day I have learned from you. You made me a better president. And you made me a better man. Desde la ciudad de Chicago, lugar donde despegó su carrera política, el mandatario número 44 de la Unión Americana resaltó los logros de su administración. Today the economy is growing again. Wages, incomes, home values and retirement accounts are all rising again. Poverty is falling again. The wealthy are paying a fair sh share of taxes, even as the stock market shatters records. The unemployment rate is near a 10-year low. The uninsured rate has never, ever been lower. Durante el mensaje de 50 minutos de duración, tocó puntos como el cambio climático, la seguridad nacional, la amenaza del terrorismo y la discriminación creciente en el país, haciendo un llamado a la unión y solidaridad del pueblo norteamericano. Finalmente, Barack Obama cerró su discurso recordando los ideales y el lema de campaña que lo llevaron a la presidencia de los Estados Unidos hace ocho años. My fellow Americans, it has been the honor of my life to serve you. I won't stop. In fact, I will be right there with you as a citizen for all my remaining days. But for now, whether you are young or whether you're young at heart, I do have one final ask of you as your president. The same thing I asked when you took a chance on me eight years ago. I am asking you to believe, not in my ability to bring about change, but in yours. I am asking you to hold fast to that faith written into our founding documents, that idea whispered by slaves and abolitionists, that spirit sung by immigrants and homesteaders and those who march for justice, that creed reaffirmed by those who planted flags from foreign battlefields to the surface of the moon, a creed at the core of every American whose story is not yet written. Yes, we can. Yes, we did. Yes, we can. Thank you. God bless you. Con información de Orlando Oliveros, Notimex.